the idea of 3D printing and, and what that allows us to do is kind of get these very complex relationships that are something that is hard to predict and certainly hard to fabricate by conventional means. And so the 3D printer exercise allows us to have a physical manifestation as a part of the feedback loop that we can really understand um, kind of the, the reality of, of what we're doing in this virtual space in the computer. 3D technology is part of um, a process that you can work through that allows you to very rapidly take ideas that you are generating in, uh, say, digital or virtual space uh, and make that physical. It allows us to explore uh, much more complex spatial issues without being kind of bogged down by, you know, kind of the, the realities and the pragmatics of what architecture is. And really what it's good at is taking really uh, kind of complex geometry uh, and allowing you to rapidly make that three-dimensional. Having the computer to allow us to visualize that as we go and ideally output it constantly through 3D printing, that's what allows us to um, get meaningful feedback on how that's being resolved and whether it's working ultimately. A lot of people can't think spatially and aren't really visual people. And so putting a three-dimensional model in front of them clears up a lot of uh, misunderstandings because they also can't read drawings. And even if you put an image of the building, it's still flat. And so sometimes it's very hard to really understand what's going on. So the 3D print was a way to allow you to kind of um, allow someone without the educated architectural knowledge to immediately grasp what the thing was and how it kind of worked on a site. UK was one of the first schools to have a 3D printer. Not every school in the country has it. In fact, most don't. Um, I was fortunate enough um, that over the last six months before I came here uh, to see firms starting to adopt this technology and people having them next to their desk and being able to crank through. And so having that opportunity as a student to engage in architecture in the same way that I can already see it happening in the field, we're outputting literal scale versions of the same process that we'll ultimately use to be 3D printing uh, buildings at the large scale. I think a lot of people have a hard time seeing uh, these 3D prints as being relevant to practice. Um, but for me, they're directly linked because the, uh, the very process of making them means that you're making uh, quick decisions based on knowledge of the problem you're working with in order to push the problem forward. And ultimately, that's what you do every day when you're making a building. There's a, uh, an ability for the student to go directly from, say, advanced levels in school into an architectural practice know the technologies that they're using. Maybe those practices aren't even using those technologies. So it allows our student then to go in and kind of lead in a way, uh, knowing that they have the expertise and experience with more advanced ways of, of um, production, uh, but also just in ways of thinking about how to use that advanced technology to uh, expand the design possibilities.